What is up, everybody? This is the Wax Man. Today, as always, we're sitting here in Orlando. A little warm today. That's okay. At this point in my day, the air conditioner works. I'm very thankful that it does. That said, Wade Boggs just kind of sitting in the background. Beautiful card. Graded 8. And if you notice to the right and to the left, we've got a couple of things. This is from RSR Cards. He knows how much I love opening the 1990 football as I'm, as I'm making my set. So I've got, he sent me one, two, three, four. As promised, my friend, RSR Cards, Rob, Alec, Cade, Pound Card Crew. And... What he did was, as I was in his auction, got some really, a couple of really cool things. So he sent them to with me, uh, with these cards. So here's Mickey Schuler Auto, beautiful card. Uh, his father was a is a Hall of Famer. Uh, he didn't have as much success as his father did, but it's still cool to have this. Um, it's numbered 182 out of 249 from the 2010 season uh, what i thought was interesting though with the two cards that i got with it that i that i got in the auction so we've got andy maurer and ed white ed white's an all pro as you can see in uh, 1975 so i did some did some reading on the back and so here we go so ed white i'm going to work with me on this guys because i thought this was interesting and i think you know you guys will too ed was named to the nfc all pro squad for 1975 he was shifted from left guard to right guard last season, so that's 74, after six years on the left side and became even more effective. Ed played on the defensive line in college but was switched to offense by the Vikings. An All-American defensive tackle at California and team captain during his senior year, he won four letters in football and two in track as a weightlifter. He's extremely strong. So we can see that players were willing to, to change to play because they love the game. So here's the interesting part. So now we're going to look at Andy Maurer. Andy became a starter for the Vikings in the ninth game of the 1974 season after being acquired from New Orleans. He started nine, guard, nine games at left guard, including the playoffs and Super Bowl, and remained at that position through 1975. Hold on a second. What? What? He was shifted from left guard to right guard. He played left guard. So... Ed White was willing to move over to let another player who was brought in to play his position. And because he did that, it wasn't he got the good, the good fellow award and he should have. He even played better from that side. So when you have a coach that comprehends what's best for a team, I think the players out there need to shut up. Listen to the coach. There's a reason why they're the coach. Most coaches that fail... It's because the team is, will, is not willing to follow their direction. And we're going to show you more why I think this is important and really cool. Let's see what else Andy was here. We're going to start right back here. Andy played fullback. He wasn't even an offensive lineman as a freshman and a sophomore at Oregon. A slot back as a junior and a tight end as a senior. He led Oregon in receiving as a senior with 22 receptions. Andy's high school played eight-man football, only eight players, and he made All-State 11-man squad as a senior. So this guy here, who is supposed to be a running back, fullback, slot back, or receiver, tight end, plays, played guard and was very good at it. Guys, I really tell you, to me, I, I was the winner in, in this auction. Not just because of the the auto, because this is always cool. You know, guys, I, you know I like my autos. But to get both of these guys, probably unbeknownst to RSR at the time, that he moved over to let him play, and there's a reason why the, the Vikings were called the Purple People Eaters back in the late 70s. There's a reason, guys. 
whether they were on offense or defense. It was just crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Okay. I'm all excited moving stuff around, and if you saw how much space I have, that uh, shouldn't have happened. <laughs> okay, guys, so next step. I have a sponsor for uh, the upcoming auction. Some of this stuff is for the auction. Some of this stuff isn't. And let me go ahead and pull out the stuff. Let me see if I can pull all this stuff out. I have not looked at this. This is the only box I have not looked at. You know, my last mail day, I went to my LCS and uh, opened mail there. And so you guys got to see. Now, I did get something from uh, Joyster, and I have no idea where I packed it in a box. Um, I really appreciated it, too, even though he's not, I'm not showing you what he gave me. Um, my favorite uh, was there was a lot of teams, team players, players that, you know, you need to fill in your sets with. And then he had the Card Mafia card, which was really cool. So, let's see here. All right, guys. Oops. So, let's start here. This is not going to be a short video. Because I want... And then at the end, I'm going to talk to you guys more about that Wade Boggs. Let's see. Patrick Corbin, Roger Clemens, Tim Raines. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is the, this is the 83. This is the 82. 82 Donruss. Man. Well, 83. They print them in 82. That is awesome. Louis Tiant. Oh, my gosh. What an awesome player. What an awesome pitcher he was. Dale Murphy. My gosh. What's this? Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my sponsor is awesome, guys. Now, I'm not going to tell you what, I, what I'm going to put in the, the auction or not because I'm not sure. I have, to, I have to make sure that I go through all these. Um, I'm not going to tell you this is going to be in it. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool. Um, Craig Biggio, I'm pretty sure that's going to be, uh, yep, his rookie card. That's awesome. Look at that, Ken Houston, record holders. I love my football, guys. You guys may not know it, but I do. I really enjoy football. I love football more than baseball, but I love collecting baseball cards more than football. Oh, look at that, Stewart. Nice. I, I don't know why that is. But it's just one of those weird things. Even as a kid, I loved I loved football. I played football. I never really played baseball as much. Even though I wanted to, I wanted a more faster-paced game, and football was it. Okay, let's see what this spot. Oh, look at that. Walter Payton, Earl Campbell. My gosh. Oh, Junior Seau, draft first round. Anthony Rizzo. Look at this. Earl Campbell's rookie... Breaker? Is that his? That might also be his, his, from his rookie season, too. Oh, my God. That is awesome. So we have some of the newer cards, but that, these are the gold. I know you guys, a lot of you guys like the gold ones. Look at that, Kyle Seeger. That's nice. Paul Goldschmidt. Roger Whirl, Worley. Cardinals quarterback. I love these cards. John Hanna, he was really good. There's a reason why he was an All-Pro that year. Same, same with Gale. And then, oh, Jan Stenenrude. He was an excellent kicker. He was an excellent kicker. We're just going to keep going down this side here. Save that for last. This one right before that. All right. So we've got Matt Manning. Look at these Mojo refractors. I'm just going to call them Mojo. Anytime I see them, like, I can just call them Mojo, whether they're called Mojo or not. These are cool. Look at this. Edward Cabrera. Nice. Matthew Libertori. The... Express last run. Oh, Nolan Ryan. Nice. Ken Griffey Jr. Future Heroes? What year is this? 93. Nice. And he was, wasn't he? There's a nice Trevor Hoffman. Oh, sweet. That's his rookie card. Oh, looks at this. Jerkson Profar. Aaron Nola. Jacob DeGrom. 
Bob Gibson, John, Gene, Gene Carlos Stanton, a.k.a. Mike Stanton. And there he is again, nice little uh, foil. Is that numbered? Foil blue parallel. Nice. And then there is Jonathan Loisiga. That's how I believe it's pronounced. I haven't heard any. I haven't watched a Yankees game where he's pitching, so I don't know. Chance Adams. Look at that, Dave Winfield. Another Bagwell. Julio Franco. Max Muncy. John Tanner. And then these are also the 74s. Leroy Jordan. Willie Lanier. Emmett Thomas. Nice. And Mick Tinglehoff. Oh, wow, these are awesome. Okay, guys, so we got a Mets pack, it says. So let's see what we got in here. At least it says Mets on it. Mets on it. It might just be... Well, maybe it is all Mets. We'll find out here in a minute. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at this. Andres Gimenez. Franklin Colon. Ahmed Rosario. Oh, nice. Jacob DeGrom. There's Gesselman. Anthony K, Edwin Diaz. Still excited about him. He has his moments. Um, some pitchers in their in their bad years will have great moments and really bad moments. So I'm really I'm hoping that this means that he's going to continue to work through whatever he's working through and get better. Oh, look at that, Keith Miller, Jack Savage. Oh, nice future stars. Paul Wilson, Frank Viola, Kevin McReynolds, Anthony Young. Joe Vitko, Kevin Elster, Julio Valera, Keith Hernandez, Pat Howell, John Franco, uh, Chico Walker, Tom O'Malley. Oh, look at that card. These cards are nice. These are the, the studio cards from that year. Todd Hundley and Tony Fernandez. Nice. Oh, that is sweet. I'm going to take a drink of water, guys. I literally was had just come in from the mail. Pulled this right out of my uh, mailbox. Uh. So it was, so, and I was working on my neighbor's yard. So let's see what we got next here. Getting ready to come down to some slabs. Still got cards to the left. Got cards to the right here. All right, so let's see here. We got some Indians. Nice team set. Nice. Glennon Hill, Doug. So we're just gonna go through these. Rook Tam Candiati. I think he was decent. You see how that? See how he's uh, holding the ball there. Let's see Nagy, Kirby, Butler, Nagy, Davis, Black, Vandenberg, Hinzo, Lewis, Farrell. Hmm. Feral. Can something be feral? Joel Skinner. Okay, so we'll set the. We'll just put that with that pile. Okay, so let's see what we got in here. This is really cool. I can't thank you enough, bro. All right, so look at this: George Kelly, Leo DeRocher, Bobby Thomas, Jim Thorpe, Noah Syndergaard. Oh my God, dude! You had that hiding in there for me. Dominic Smith, rookie. I'm gonna have to set that aside. We already know that definitely isn't in the in the auction. Javier Baez. Now, if I have two of them, yeah, then yeah, you'll find out. You'll find him in there. But it's kind of I'm kind of tightening down on my Dominic Smiths. I'm gonna wait till he uh, gets better. There's some real nice cards here. Oh, look at this. He um, he did get injured recently, but um, I, he's gonna recover from it, and I'm really happy about you know that. Randy Hundley. Is that Eckersley? That's a nice Dennis Eckersley card. Let me, let me put Dominic over here. Okay, so we got Paul Goldschmidt. What a beautiful shot. Man, this year's cards are just phenomenal. I really, really, uh, back in the day, wasn't a big fan of the stadium clubs. I don't know. I mean, they were pricey, but I just was not a big fan of them. Dave Cash, oh, these are nice shape. Dan Meyer, Denny Doyle, Milt Wilcox, Alan Ashby. I, I, 
recognize his face, but I couldn't remember that. It was Avery. Nice. Oh, look at that. That's a Fred McGriff. But it it's, shows Reggie Jackson on the bottom. So Fred McGriff is truly the game's unsung superstar. His lifetime slugging percentage is, five, is .53. He's a consistent long threat and the first player to lead each league in homers in 80 years. So that's what Reggie, that's Reggie's take on him. Nice. What a beautiful card. I've never seen this one. And then Reggie, you know the facsimile, but still, it's called uh, Clutch. I can barely read that, but it's Clutch something. Clutch Reformers? Yep. Clutch Performers. Clutch Performers. Okay. Y'all can laugh at me too. That's good. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. All right. So here we go. Joe Girardi. I always like the Joe Girardis. Albert Pujols, 2018 uh, National League Home Run Leaders. Trevor Story, Matt Carpenter, Christian Yelich, and Nolan Arnato. And then here's Joe Girardi. Nice. I think he had a decent career. Now, you know, and then of course, running the, the uh, Yankees for a while was pretty cool. Okay, guys, so we got three slabs. I'm going to show you my three slabs real quick. Randy Johnson. These are all his rookies. Now, this doesn't say it's rookie. It just tells us it's a score traded. But it still should be his rookie card. Rookie. And this card is not going in the auction. This is awesome. It doesn't even, it looks better than a five, honestly, guys. Just a beautiful card. You know, maybe because of the, the, the discoloring in the back, but it's just a beautiful card. That's going in my collection. All right. So, if, if I, I might have, I might have two Johnsons. Let me see. While you guys are not live with me. I believe I have another Randy Johnson sitting over here. And I do, I do, I do, I do. So, because of that, I was trying to figure what else I wanted to put up here. I got to take Dominic down. I'll set him completely aside over here and put him on some plastic. Um, both mint nines. So we'll put that there. All right. So I still got, I still have the Johnson. Nice. Okay, so remember, I still got a couple things over here. So we're going to show some of these. Well, all of these. They should be in the auction. Most of them are not positive yet, but here's Nelson Cruz. Robin Ventura, when he was with the Yankees. Here with a Mets uniform. That's kind of cool. I gotta check on that. At one time it was worth three bucks. Not sure what it's worth today. Game used jersey. This is hilarious. Okay. I might just keep this card. Because here's the Mets, right? You see that. Here is Yankees. So we're looking at the patch, right? This patch is not from either team. It says here, you have received a Robin Ventura game used jersey trading card from the Upper Deck Company LLC. On the front of this card is an authentic piece of jersey worn by Robin Ventura in an official White Sox Major League game. That's interesting. And look, it's got the Yankees down there, Mets there. Piece of White Sox uniform. I, this is one of those cards you just kind of like maybe keep. I'm gonna set him over here with uh, with Dom with Dom. Put that put that way there together. I think I'm gonna hang out of that. Now here we go. Here's a nice Carlos Correa uh, commemorative patch. And here is a Kurt Schilling 
game used and you can see the wrinkle right here so this is authentic piece of the game it should say game used here in the back was cut from personally personally worn by Kurt Schilling in an official game nice ooh in the 150 years look at that George Springer Cumber Merchant Patch that's nice okay guys so we've done that 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 and yeah we're gonna check these out now Look at these 1965s. This is awesome. You know, I appreciate I appreciate you you so much, bro. Um, Dan Osinski, Leo Burke, Bill Mom Bouquet, Jim Corker, Chris Canizara, Canzara, sorry. Well, no, you probably aren't around but that's a mess it's just beautiful cards guys i'm gonna have to get some sleeves for these bobby noop bob allison jerry lump and lindy mcdaniel i always like lindy mcdaniel he was a pretty good pitcher let me see what his numbers were here and see if i'm fooling myself let's see win loss 80 68 era 380 hmm well strikeouts I don't know. I don't. Whatever it was, something about him. Maybe it was after his uh, his career. So if you guys didn't see it, it's Paul. Paul and I. Paul Dyche. Dyke. I again. I say his name wrong, and it has to do with I don't say it out loud enough. But Paul D. You guys know him from all our streams. Um, he really. He and I work out a deal. So that's why I call him my sponsor, and I've told him I was going to mention it. You know, that he's one of the ones that assists me in um, some of the stuff that, that I put out there. So that said, guys, thank you, Paul. Thank you, Joster. Even though I didn't have your stuff out here, I'd, I'll, eventually I'll find it. I've got tens of thousands of cards. I put them in a box. Um, I said I tucked them away somewhere, and I haven't figured out where I put tucked them away. Um, and RSR cards. Now, that said, guys, you see those two over there? Wade Boggs. We all know what this is, don't we? Don't we? And Randy Johnson. Both of these are rookie cards. These are going to be in my 500 subscriber giveaway. This is the official video for the subscriber giveaway in my announcement. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to, once I, I'm at around 460 to 470 right now. When I hit 500, we're going to randomize the comments. Obviously not repetitive. One comment gets you in. Any extra comments get the tracker annoyed. <laughs> so I know that some of you are going to put more than one just because I said that. And they will be ignored. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to say thank you guys. Um, my YouTube shows that I started a long time ago, but I really didn't do anything until about five months ago when I started posting videos. I went from zero subscribers in five months to nearly 500. I've been gaining about 100 a month. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos, commenting, being in the live streams with me and other people and, and just really showing that love that the community has for one another. Just like any community, once in a while we're going to have our differences of opinions, and it's okay. That's part of human nature. We are allowed to have our own opinion. I think it's really cool that uh, some of us like different things than others. Everybody knows I love opening the Fairfields. I don't know what it is. I guess it's you know, it's just like the one YouTube channel, Seeking Hidden Gems. That's what I'm doing. I'm looking for hidden gems. I do open new stuff, too. I'm usually in breaks. Um, I buy my own new stuff, as you guys know, and, and I did that in a break for you guys. Um, but usually when I'm buying brand new stuff, there's, there's usually no video on it um, because I really am I'm just doing it for myself. It's more personal. So, again, guys, thank you. Randy Johnson's rookie, Wade Boggs rookie. This, these are the two cards I'm going to give away 
to one person. So, what does it mean to be in the giveaway? Well, I think it's only fair that, you, that you're a subscriber. You know, it's part of the, the benefits of being a subscriber to my channel. Um, YouTube doesn't sponsor me. Fairfield doesn't sponsor me. I let you guys know who sponsors me for this or that. Uh, Missouri Cards has assisted me. Paul D. has assisted me. Others have assisted me, and I can't thank you guys enough. RS Cards and Wicked Discounts and uh, Quados, uh, Crosby, CJ, even Frost, Deafness. All you guys, every I, I I really do my best to 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 really just share what I have that I get from you guys with you guys. And um, my neighbor, um, he's he's doing his part right now. He's trying to get his stuff ready so he can also sponsor this upcoming um, uh, auction on the twenty fifth. So I've got a lot going on. We've got the five hundred subscriber giveaway when we hit five hundred. We'll probably wait till we get to right around 5.10, 5.20. Uh, we'll see how my schedule goes at that time. Um, because usually by the time I, I, I get to the video, I'm, I'm past about 20, maybe 30 people, which, is, which really is awesome. Um, uh, after my giveaways, I've, I've typically lost maybe three or five subscribers. And that just tells me that, that, I, that how much you guys really do appreciate. You're not in it just for the... The giveaways you're in it for the content and i appreciate it guys so much so again the auction will be if you guys uh haven't already seen it uh because uh, today's mon is monday it'll be this coming sunday the 25th of august it'll be right around 12 p.m jeff airtime goes on around uh and does the trivia he goes live around 10 a.m eastern standard time he usually finishes between 11 and 11 30 Eastern Standard Time and so I figure let's let you guys uh, get a few minutes hit the bathrooms maybe get a sandwich get, get some food and we'll start right around 12 noon August 25th for the auction and then once we hit these 500 it's gonna be awesome guys I think we'll do we'll do something I think it's a special with these two um, I've got a lot of respect for these guys I mean this card in itself is just a beautiful card Guys, thank you so much for staying on this long with me. It is a long video, but I think it was well worth it. A lot of beautiful cards to show you guys. A lot of great information. Um, I am part of the card crew. I think the card crew, uh, they're uh, an awesome group of people. Every person I've ever dealt with in the card crew has never steered me wrong. And I just want to say that and how much I appreciate it. Those that have left the card crew, they always say, hey, stay in touch. And I do. I stay in touch with every single one that I can. And that basically is just about everybody. Um, some, of, some of the folks have had to go do other things and they can't talk to anybody right now. Some, some folks were injured. That's another thing. Um, you guys know Josh Start. Uh, Josh Start let me know he was in a, had a serious uh, accident, incident, and his back broke. Um, so he's down for a while. Uh, he's going to be okay. Um, but we don't know what happens. Why do people disappear? We don't know. But, for, if, but if we're in contact, like the community like the community we are, then we should be able to have somebody send us a message, hey, yo, this is what happened. You know, Mad M Baseball card, same thing. You know, he, he, he was in a really bad wreck. Um, it's a long road to his recovery. He's going to make it, and literally it is one day at a time for him. So there will be people you guys haven't heard from in a while, but there's a reason why. So reach out to them. If you guys are able, if you have their email or you have able to touch, just shoot messages, if you don't get a response, don't think that they're mad at you. Just know that whatever's happened, they just can't contact us back, and then when they're able to, they will. Guys, I, it was a wonderful time showing you these cards. Paul, wow, I just... I just cannot say thank you enough. These are beautiful cards, beautiful addition to my collection. Um, I, I just, I just, I'm blown away by this. Guys, gals, everybody listening in, 
again, thank you so much for joining me. And then there's the, the Elston going into the, also my 1959 Elston. Um, treat everyone with respect, with dignity. It does, it will go well for you in the long run. Um, as you guys know, on the 11th of this month, I went 20, I'm now 24 years married to my wife. I met my wife, uh, August, not August, <laughs> March 10th, 5.35 p.m., 1995, on a Friday. Uh, you could say we've been basically inseparable since. Treat, treat your folks that you love with respect and dignity. Continue to treat those in the community. We may not understand who they are. Uh, we only see their channel, but let's treat them with respect and dignity too because this is a beautiful community with a lot of great people. Wax is out.